Wild Shade, the horse racing game. More like Wild Shade. It's okay. Everyone can totally laugh. I know that was so funny. Um, just back in the vein of those videos that I would make about Sylvie, which, by the way, don't ever be afraid to ask me my opinion on anything, because as long as you do it respectfully, I will respectfully answer back. People have, like, texted me in recent time to go and ask me how I feel about Sylvie Mystery, and the closest thing I can give you to an update is that I texted her back for the first time in two months. Um, I don't text anybody back if they're not in my private Discord server. So I just genuinely have to tell you that I just straight up don't talk with her. Um, as long as she's not doing anything problematic, I'm fine with hanging out and helping her because that's honestly better to me than, I think, being an asshole all the time and being an asshole all the time is tiring, so. Anyways, I'm gonna be an asshole for the next however long this video is, so take what I just said with a grain of salt. But for context, anyone play Wild Shade, that mobile horse racing game? Um, I played it back when it was in beta. I don't remember anything about it except for the fact that I didn't like it because it was slow. And I remember when it was first being teased, before I was banned from the main quest, obviously. And, and Alice Rupert, the person like who was the community manager of Wild Shade, and obviously the fucking person of the main quest, don't ask me my opinion on the main quest and not expect anger because that's all I feel sometimes. Um, but she used like Alicia Online music and everyone was just like, all Wild Shade is is a copy of Alicia Online, which I'm going to be quite honest with you, it sometimes does not live up past that. But a very big thing has happened in the Wild Shade community. Y'all, has anybody actually watched Rat? I, I ask if anybody's, but it has thousands of views. But y'all watch Rattle's videos on what the hell happened with Equestrian in the game and how badly that game just messed itself up. Like it was so hyped up and then it just went completely downhill and now they're having to basically rebuild everything from scratch. Well, Wild Shade's about to have to go through that. As of recording this, the servers have been closed, or not the servers, but the Discord server has been closed for, I can even double check this because I'm still miraculously in it. The servers have been closed for approximately four days. Um, you can't get in, I don't think. It's locked, it's what it's called. Um, by the way, the community manager, I don't know if I said that, is Alice, so Alice just locked it herself because people kept yelling and she's not good at managing a community. Um, it's been locked since the 8th, so it's been two days since um, the servers have been locked. Nobody can send messages. I think you can join, um, but like two people got banned when this happened because people kept talking. One of them being Rattle. Um, I will tell you guys right now, Alice and Rattle do not get along, and this was probably just an excuse for Alice to get Rattle out of the Discord server anyway, but if you're gonna ban the one person making critiques about horse game, like, videos out of your horse game server, I really would like to understand the logic of not expecting for you to have a hate video put on you at that point. Um, but... I digress. So it's been about two days. Can't talk anything in there. Only people who can are like moderators and the staff of Tavola who made the game. Which blessed us today with the best news a community that is angry at you could get. And that is that Wild Shades coming to consoles. And in consoles, it'll be paid once and you'll have access to all the features. And. There will be split-screen multiplayer. So let me tell everybody that this is a mobile game that... 
this is Mario Kart on the phone, basically. Because Mario Kart on the phone does not play multiplayer. It just gives you ghosts of people. But it's not actually multiplayer. So it's just an entire single, single player game. Um, so the fact that they're adding multiplayer to a console is already kind of a big point and deal. But they also said they weren't planning on doing this for a good long time. And let's also bring up the point that people have paid $50 for one horse in the same vein as people would do for Star Stable. So people have paid probably over a hundred plus dollars on pretty horses for this mobile game and would have exactly zero ways to transfer that over without just buying and saying screw it and losing all their progress. This would be a big problem and it is a big problem for multiple reasons but a very very big point is that the reason this server was locked was not because of that. It was actually because two weeks ago Wildshade posted um, an update going and saying um, but two weeks ago Wildshade posted an update saying that they added horse grooming and it was a requested feature. People were requesting grooming and they added it in the most convoluted, dumbest way I've ever seen. And that's saying a lot because horse grooming in most horse games is normally really awful. But surprisingly, they somehow made it worse. So what happened was that every three races, your horse is just covered in dirt. Looks awful. Looks ugly doesn't affect your stats at all. However, here's the real kicker. You have to pay real money to clean the horse. The horses cost brushes, and the only way to buy brushes are with sun coins, which is the game's premium currency. You have to pay real money to see the coats that you paid real money for, or else you can't race the like if you never race the horse it will never get dirty but if you never race the horse what was the point of purchasing it needless to say this has sparked so much debate in the wild shade community that the server had to be locked people have stopped playing the game people have stopped like going entirely the amount of paragraph long posts that I could stop, share, and send for just how much, like, problems are going on currently with Wild Shade is so hilarious to me because I'm not shocked by it because Alice is the community manager and Alice sucks so badly at being a community manager that it is really disappointing that she is currently the face of horses in gaming because she's absolutely problematic and at this point anybody else would be better suited for the job but if you are the admin of two separate discord servers and both of them have had multiple instances of having to be locked because people kept yelling at you for it, I feel like at that point that kind of does say stuff about you as a person. And considering that I was one of the people yelling at Alice about it for both times, it, you know, valid criticism. But let's just talk about that for a bit on the point of wanting to cost real life money for a in-game minigame that doesn't even ha like you don't get boosted for this L literally the only thing that happens is your horse looks normal why why would you add this what was the point of this and they're not going to take it out by the looks of it in their update they say thank you for all your feedback regarding the new brushing feature we're happy that our players have had this avenue to constructively voice their criticism of the new features and we take that very seriously at the same time community opinion doesn't paint the complete picture and as the vast majority of players play quite casually outside of our community 
We're therefore also carefully monitoring our overall analytics data in order to find out what players like to use the most. From looking at both things together, we try to decide what is best for Wildshade in the long term. There are significant strategic decisions that then take longer to fully evaluate that people might be aware of. Once again, we're thankful for your patience. Anyway, so they're probably not going to take away the brushing feature, which is so stupid because at that point at least make it easier to either get more sun coins or make it easier to get brushes like why why are they costing a premium currency that is the equivalency of pennies that would be like having to only pay in star stable for like food to care for your horse and star points think about how quickly that would blow up in star stable space just Take a second to go and think about that. Yeah. So currently that's where we're at in this situation. I don't really see anybody talking about it, which is why I decided to kind of just make this unscripted video point. Just because it's enough for me to want to go and say, hey, be aware that Wild Shades like Discord is currently locked. Be aware that there are really shitty features being added and things like that. Because as, like, consumers, we need to start making it a point to go and say, like, this is okay and this isn't. And the fact that the server got shut down because people were saying this is not okay really firstly shows that Alice Rupert is a bitch. Um, fuck Alice Rupert. All my homies hate Alice Rupert. So... Anyways, but I would just really like to make that point and everyone really think about the money that you spend and think about making like sure that you really truly want to like support these games. Because think about Equestrian the game and the amount of like money people spend on it and the fact that it seems to not really be working out as good as everyone thought it would be or anything like that. Like really think about the games that you're deciding to play and spend money on and go and support what you think is right but also make sure to bring attention to shit like this because this is a game that got a lot of flack for even being announced because everyone said Alicia Online already did this better <laughs> and a lot of people still live by that. There's a lot of people that will never play Wild Shade because they play Alicia Online. There's a lot of people that will never play Wild Shade because it's on mobile. There's a lot of people that will never play Wild Shade because of this situation. So, just really be mindful of the things that, like, you're supporting and being in. But also don't be afraid to go and say, hey, this shit's fucked up. So that was um, my angry Wild Shade rant. I, I don't know if it was really that angry. And honestly, it's really hard to talk about the situation since it's not over with. Like, I don't know how I made that one Sylvie video so nice and like detailed. This one, it's like, hey, Wild Shade's doing something fucked up. Bye type of thing. But either way, everyone really be aware of what's going on. And also, I wouldn't be surprised if Rattle does a video on this, so I would say expect that. But thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Truth is more like a podcast, I guess, but honestly, I'd rather start making videos again because I'm not enjoying working a 9 to 5 and would rather talk to people online all day. But this is Sakura Stallion, so bye!